Hey Tootie Foundations, Fen here. I know that some of you are probably like me and I have a hard time drawing things just from your head. So I'm going to show you a technique that I like to use called creating digital references. It's kind of like a digital collage, but it's not as neat and tidy as a collage and it's really just so that you have some visual references in the size that you want them placed where you want them. So then you can use it to help you with your drawing. So this video is going to show you how to create your digital references. And then the next video is going to show you how to use those digital references to create a better drawing. So the first thing that we're going to do is open Google Drawings. You can simply Google it if you're not sure where to find it. The first thing that we're going to need to do is change the size of our page. So we are going to custom size it. If you want a horizontal page or landscape, you want an eight and a half by five and a half. If you want something that is vertical or portrait, you want a five and a half by eight and a half. That will give you a tall, narrow page to work on. I'm working with a landscape view. So the next thing that we do is start searching for images. And you can do this directly from Google Drawing, which makes it really easy. Mine is all about how we should shop local and support our local farmers. So I'm looking for images of farmers markets. And I can click them and add them in and adjust them as needed. You can see as I'm working through this that I'm not really worried about um, edges and overlap, but I am worried about the order in which these objects are displayed and their size. So I'm really thinking about composition here and where things are placed on my page. I didn't just use Google Drawing search to help me find images for my um, collage digital reference here. I also used Instagram and my ability to screenshot. You can use regular Google images. You can also use photos that you have taken and put them into your digital reference. Um, so here I have added in this really super happy gentleman who I've met from the Emmaus Farmer's Market. He has an apiary, so he sells honey at the farmer's market, and he's probably one of the sweetest old men that I've ever met. Um, so I decided that I was going to add him into my digital reference as a human connection to um, what I'm trying to say. Another thing you want to think about is if you need any text to add to the meaning of your artwork. If you are going to add text, really think about the font that you are going to use and how that connects to your imagery or detracts from your imagery. So you can create a juxtaposition here, but you can also create a connection. So think about either of those two things. Do you need a juxtaposition to make your meaning or do you need a connection? My last two recommendations for your work here is to think about the color of your text, make it visible against everything else, and also to change your images to be black and white. You will be able to follow through on highlights, midtones, and values easier if your images are already set in just black and white value. The last thing we're gonna do is get set up for actual drawing. So we're gonna use a gridded method of transferring and that will look familiar if you've ever done anything like this. So what you're going to do in your image is make a line every inch vertically. And you can see when your line is straight, when in the ruler, all of those little lines that are created when you're drawing your line, all turn into one singular line on the ruler. So you can see it fans out and then it all comes back in. That means that your line is straight. You want your lines to be straight. So you're going to create vertical lines every inch 
and horizontal lines every inch. And then we'll also be doing that on our paper, but that's in the next video.